Hello, this is Shane from Viscount Capital. Today I'm going to run through probably the most simplistic model to value a corporate bond. So what are corporate bonds? Well, they're really a hybrid structure. And what that means is that it's a mixture between debt and equity. So you're issued an initial debt security, but you have the option to convert it into a set amount of equity. So without going into too much detail and just looking at the pricing, here are the variables that we need to get. So we have equity variables like the dividend, stock price, volatility. Face value is just the uh, face value of the bond, so the price at which it's issued at basically. And then we have the coupon and the uh, risk-free rate. And the spread is just the difference between the similar data maturity of government debt with the convertible bond. And R plus S is just the risk rate plus the spread. Maturity is uh, pre pretty straightforward. Strike price is just the price at which you can convert the uh, debt into equity. So, uh, convertible bond is important to recognize that there's two bits of convertible bond. So, one is the bond investment value. So, that's just the price of the bond. So, what you're doing here is you're just taking the uh, five years maturity and you're taking the coupon coupon payments and then you're taking the principal as well and all that you're doing is you're taking the present value of that the most important thing to realize here is that you're taking the present value discounted at the risk rate plus the spread so you're not discounting at the risk rate you're discounting at the R plus S so adding up all the present values of the cash flows you get 1065.85 so that's like the minimum value that the bond can actually be trading at Pretty much, I mean, you know, that's maybe not taking into consideration a ridiculous amount of uh, uh, potential credit risk, but that's uh, that's generally how we how we value bonds. So um, now the next part is uh, also actually much more straightforward than you would think. Um, you want to value the option to convert. So the option to convert is really just the option to buy into the stock. So where does that sound familiar from? Well, a call option gives you the option, or the right, but not the obligation, to buy a security at a certain price at or before a certain date. So that is exactly the same as a call option. So it's the same valuation technique. So here we have uh, D1. As you can see, I've named all the cells. So for example, when you see LN price divided by a strike, you can see here I've named the stock price cell price and the strike price strike. So therefore it's actually very easy to see what this formula is and how it's worked out. Price divided by strike plus the risk rate minus the dividend plus power of volatility. Um, that's uh, volatility squared. So power of volatility comma 2 is volatility squared. Divided by 2 times by T. T is uh, just very simply the... Oh, Where's T on here? T is simply the maturity. So, um, and then divided by the volatility times by the square root of T again. So D1 is pretty straightforward formula. D2 is just B20, which uh, you know I should probably rename uh, variable one. D2 is uh, is just uh, variable one, which is D1 basically, uh, minus the volatility times the square root of T. So uh, again, pretty straightforward formula and easy to work out. And the call value is just the price times by E, which in Excel is EXP, um, minus one times by the dividend times by T times by normal distribution variable one minus the strike times by EXP minus one risk free rate times by two T and touched by normal distribution of variable 2. So uh, perhaps running through the formulas pretty quickly, I'm not going to delve into a PhD paper on Black-Scholes model, but this is value for Black-Scholes. The formulas are not ridiculously complicated, and uh, as long as you get the concept that convertible bonds are valued in two bits by the bond investment value and also the call value, and if you understand that, then you can quite easily adjust the spreadsheet to incorporate more years, less years, uh, incorporate a formula which just calculates the present value of a bond straight out without having to do five years, and you can use it to tailor it to your liking. So the best thing to do is probably just to download the spreadsheet straight from the description, play around with yourself and build your own model. 
So there are, as I said, other other ways. Goldman Sachs has quite a popular model, which is uh, somehow leaked out into the public, but it's obviously you know a lot more complicated than this. And you know you're at danger of spending days trying to realize what every little bit is uh, uh, it means. Whereas this, I think, like to think that this is uh, you know it's uh, effective, but it's uh, you know also quite simple as well. So good luck modeling your convertible bonds for whatever reason it is, whether it's a convertible, uh, convertible, um, convertible arbitrage, or you're just uh, looking to issue a convertible bond. Even for private companies, you could perhaps adjust this to uh, if you want to do issue a convertible bond, and it's not uh, you're not sure how to price it. But uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Good luck in uh, modeling uh, your spreadsheet.